Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. No more excitement? Yeah. You know. <laughs> excited. Bye. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> Look at Chewy. 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 Chewy out here? Yeah. No. Why Chewy? Well, my dog's still out here. Why? Why Chewy? Cut. Chewy. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five liters. Milk or something down there here, no. Ah, Kenyon, make the all the ball away from me. Me, you can see, you have a knock. You have spinach, or you have shrimps. just the masks it's really hot and all that and it's you know it's the rules of rules and we're trying to be keeping everybody safe I hope I work with people also older than me so I gotta take care of the my staff to the, the my um, not my employees but my uh, my friends at work you know like I have to you know because some of them are older than me and they have health, health issues so I can't just walk around with no mask we always sanitize our hands we always take our precautions you know everybody's like you know put their five cents in the pile. It's kind of a shock, I'm a hockey fan. So back then the Senators were out of town and when everything was shutting down, it was kind of sudden. They didn't know if they were moving on to their next game. As it turned out, they were all getting sent home, that it was over and that's when it hit me I went oh my god the NHL like right now is like shutting down and that was the beginning of you know what was a bigger shock I think after that you know but that to me was the first in your face what no hockey tomorrow night you know so yeah. come on for Jeff order for Jeff thank you have a great day happy candidate can you talk in there? Hi. Can I hold it? You have to be very careful when you hold okay. it. Me too. I want to hold it. No, it's only made for one. Say hello. Hi. Was that? But I want to say. Look. Hello. Go like this. What? Okay. That. Okay. I'm Buddy. I'm Buddy. We're doing a... We're, we're going to do a video. No, I'm going to say, we start again. That means uh, no questions. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't jump. Just stand. No, I don't want to stand. Just stand. Now we don't have to wear a mask in school anymore. Even no when way. you're out of the classroom? Have you had your vaccine? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. My parents have, my mom, she got, she got her second dose, my brother, my, I mean my dad got his second dose. Hey, hey, yes. hey, go put your sister away. Hey, man. But 
and she's she's vlogging. You never knew what to anticipate was going to happen. Schools could close from one day to the next. Uh, businesses could shut down from one day to the next. So in any given week, I had to find, I had to be a teacher. I had to be a mother. I had to be an office worker. I had to be a banker because I had to figure out who gets paid this week if my husband wasn't working. Um, so I, it allowed me to wear a, a variety of hats, many of which I didn't want. How long were you doing online school? Five weeks. They spent most of the year in school. So we were lucky on that front. But the homeschooling aspect of it um, was more difficult. Sometimes cameras weren't working. Sometimes microphones weren't working. And sometimes you couldn't see stuff due to the teacher's cameras breaking. And a lot of the year was spent trying to figure out what was going on. Did you like logging into Teams every morning? Mm-mm. Did no. you like seeing Madame Mire on the screen and all of your friends on the screen? No. No? It's kind of sad because you didn't get to see them for like five weeks. Mm -hmm. Were you able to talk to your teacher and talk to your friends a lot? Yeah. But only to my teacher because during the meeting we can't really talk to our friends during the meeting. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, once we're like done the meeting, we are allowed to open our mics and say bye to everybody and yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite part of online learning? I don't know. The end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I can Super go play with us, yeah. <laughs> They even did um, physical education Math. from a laptop. Math. Jumping jacks in the middle of the living room. Um, Math. Coming to me saying, Mom, I need, I need um, a skip rope. Where are you planning on skipping? Oh, in the kitchen because we have to do it for physical education. So there was a whole learning of, okay, let's try and make the most out of the tiny house that we have and where can we put you to work where you're not going to be interrupting everybody else. <sighs> that was uh, that was okay. Go go into the basement, go into the bedroom, <laughs> close the door if you're going to play your recorder or the while flute. I'm on the phone. On the flute. Uh, my name is Anne. I've been volunteering at the Shepherds of Good Hope for about seven years. One morning week in the soup kitchen, which is where we are today. There was incredible demand on Shepherds, both for meal service and for sandwiches. So it seemed that no matter how many we made, uh, the following day when we'd come, come in, uh, we'd be told, yep, free, fridge is empty, get busy, we need sandwiches. There were a couple of points where I, I took a step back when the pandemic was uh, at its height, uh, but I came back again. Egg salad sandwiches are only a small part of the picture, but at least we were able to help a little bit, and that, that made a difference. So I had a couple of friends that, uh, even though they're married, like they get really, like it's not always, it wasn't always beneficial for that relationship, right? I have a cat and he was good company too actually. People laugh at that when I say it but it's like well you know 
at least there was another breathing something in the house, right? <laughs> and it did make a big difference. I know it did, like just having a pet to take care of and, you know, talk to. Yeah. Clients come in for a meal. They come in through our entrance this way. They come through here. They line up on this side. And they get served meals through our plexiglass shields here. I've been recovering myself. I have been for a number of years and you know isolation is certainly no friend to the recovering addict. I would think the isolation thing has been just as impactful for them like they've had each other right but I mean the fact is that you know panhandling is, is, it is an economy unto itself. Even if they are getting social assistance a lot of them count on that just to subsidize you know what, what, what life they are able to provide for themselves right or even family members that they're out there with and look that's human contact that they're not getting as well aside from the actual money that they're bringing in you know, people that are kind enough to stop and have a conversation, maybe buy them a meal, those things aren't happening as much anymore, so it's been more isolating for the community, for sure. Well, Edwin, I'm just behind you. No, there's a bit of a in the day of prohibition, some do. Not true. Some do. Yes, those people made choices that day. The people that committed violence made choices. We are all responsible for the individual choices that we make. But Donald Trump was the mastermind of that day. In other words, she's not falling for the... Election. Yeah, they're thinking yeah, for the fact here, believe it. The, 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 they must be known to our whole end and such the honest way. I mean, uh, you always had a choice to make. And what Trump... The day that I believe it, that I'm um, scared to know for that day, for we sat all together and saw på it. ...in direction, those who want to sort of begin this and sort of... ...come in in that building. ...or get in in... The forskellige senators, offices, ham der sad i med benene op på hendes disk. I don't have cost, any customers. You have money to pay me? <laughs> huh? Okay, let's go. Sit down. If you you have money or not? If you don't have money, I can't work without for free, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm Barbara. I used to be really busy before the COVID. And uh, since the COVID hit, oh, lots of people, they don't, they still afraid. They don't want to get out. And they just got their hair at home. And uh, the rest, so they came here, and uh, they are, they are following the they follow the, the what they call it the, the, to put a mask, for example. They have uh, what they call it the that is for hands we clean and we can touch everything. Someone like me who has three kids and the way it doesn't work, it's not easy. It's not really easy at all because if I don't work, there is no income. Two bucks oh, in there. I'm going. Two bucks there. Like there. The two like house. Yeah, I was uh, you know allowed to apply for the government, but how much they gave me? Yeah, that's a good question. You know how much they gave me? Eighteen hundred dollars a month. The rent here is almost the shop rent is almost eleven hundred. At home, the rent is almost $1,200 plus. You have to pay hydro here, hydro there. As I told you, car insurance, food for the kids, and uh, lots. 
lots of money, you know. So if you don't work, well, so you know, means it's, uh, I'm not happy. If I'm not working, I'm, I, I am under lot of stress because I think about my kids, I think about customers also. I lose customers too because when you are close, So can I tell you how the pandemic started? Sure. So I was I was like I was um I was very very sick and I came to school and they I tell them um I, I'm I'm sick and they call my dad and mom and then my dad came to pick me up. So they like, I they like g got like um, a stick or thing. So I, they put it all the way over, over here. Okay, come on, don't, don't do this, okay? Relax. When the original lockdown took place, um, we realized that we couldn't continue as we had, and we, this wasn't an option. So we started to experiment with putting masks online and being much more present through Facebook and YouTube. How do we create a Sunday experience in which people can still reach out and ask questions and they can still feel like they're not just watching something on TV, but they're actually part of it? Now over the, the year, we've had a lot of time to develop that. So we did Zoom masses, and now we do a, a parking lot mass outside. And we stream everything. We stream funerals, we stream baptisms and, and masses. But the core has always been the experience of coming together in faith. see you very well. The sun's kind of reflecting, but I know that you're all there. So as we gather here this morning for this Mass, we want to pause and just reflect and call to mind any sins and first ask for God's forgiveness. When I'm up on the stage and it's outdoors, it, it, the experience looks good, I'm sure, and, and sounds great. We're broadcasting both through um, social media and we're also through an FM frequency so you hear exactly in the car and, and you can see just about everything that's happening. My experience of that actually is a bit disconnected. I can't even see anybody. I see the reflections of the windscreens. I, I, I can't even see the people in front of me. And you have to just sort of be a little more animated and, and put it out there and believe that people are hearing it and be able to receive it. Just a moment ago I had two young women waving at me from a white sports car. Can we hear from you? There they are, they're right over there. Now, I like to tell you that happens so often, there they are, that, that I've got kind of used to it, but that doesn't, it only happens here. And the really cool part about that particular story is that's actually their grandmother's sports car. How cool is that? Grandma, it's amazing, <laughs> that's wonderful. I think it's gonna be pretty standard for for funerals to be streamed online and pretty standard for at least one mass a weekend will continue to for outreach for, for seniors and those that are shut-ins. So we have the technology. This is part of why we stayed with the online streaming as our, our main way of reaching out. 
Because five years from now, I, I don't think we'll be in the parking lot anymore. And five years from now, there'll probably be more normal standards for people being in the church. But I still think people are going to have iPhones and iPads, and I think they're still going to be watching us through the camera. But what's most important is that we never get co-opted into the sense that this is the new church. It's not. It's a form of medium. Christ Jesus is the church. Christ Jesus in the Eucharist, Christ Jesus in our experience, Christ Jesus in our actions. Stay rooted in who we are. And that's what we have to lead with. The authenticity of Christ proclaimed. Amen. The people in the parking lot go out. People who watch it online loop through and then they kind of zipper. Well, have a good week, Father. Stay here, Chewy. That's why I told you to leave him in the house. Chewy. Chewy. The family companion, the garter of secrets. The floor sweeper. <laughs> My son should actually be um, starting his grade four level all over again because he is failing his core uh, competencies. But because of COVID, they're not, um, they're not failing anybody. Most of my tests I barely passed on. I barely made it through grade four. I hope grade five is different, and when I make it through grade five, I hope I can make it to grade six, and then all the way through high school. Okay, time to go on teams. Okay, math. Okay. I just got kicked out of, of the meeting. Hold on. I am back in the meeting. I got kicked out of the meeting for some reason due to breakout rooms not working properly. Um, the meeting's almost done. Okay, bye. That is all. That was basically how I felt. That's basically what happened almost every morning during math class. Yes. My name's Jeff. Uh, born and raised in Ottawa. I've uh, been flying airplanes for 32 years and I was affected by uh, COVID by uh, having my career come to a grinding halt. Uh, I was flying um, out of Dubai. Uh, I've been through a lot in my career, 9-11, uh, contracts not being uh, renewed, uh, airlines collapsing, but I think this is the end. I don't think I'll be able to get on board another airplane again in, for the rest of my career. So now I'm uh, sailing. I came back to Ottawa. Uh, it's a great place to ride out the pandemic. I'm really happy to be back. You really don't know. It's super good. Take it from me, somebody who's been lucky enough to see a large part of the world. I'm really, really happy that this is the place we chose to come back to. It's absolutely fantastic. Ça peut impacter les 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 personnes âgées. Donc, on s'est beaucoup concentré sur eux, puis on a sacrifié notre temps pour ces personnes-là. Ils auraient fait la même chose pour si ça avait impacté seulement les jeunes. Fait que je pense que c'est correct. Ça s'est bien fait, honnêtement.
Nej, den er fandme ikke behagelig uden ønder. Len fortalte mig i dag. Len mig det ordre forhånden. Og de gjorde det med det. Nå, nu er Hvad hedder han? Mau, der havde gået og viset ham. Og så finder de ud af, at de har... De har været vej også. Ikke Show me my photo album. Every time you say Alexa... Uh-oh. She'll uh, respond to you. He can who can show me my photo album for the nigger there or or there you ain't for a reach day. What's that one? And there's a whole shopping. Yeah. He said it was the king is very excited from the bottom. My first shopping trip for a long time. Don't forget your purse. Boy, I have the pool to see a head in. Did you just sneak a cherry? Yeah, yeah, I did almost two. Okay, sit down. Looks nice, eh? You see? I look to see that. Good. Come ça, come ça, come ça, come ça, come ça. Bouge pas, s'il vous plaît. Okay. You are a gentle boy, eh? Allez. You are a gentle boy? Good. Tell them that's COVID hair. Haircut, huh? Say a COVID haircut? Say COVID haircut? COVID haircut. Bravo. <laughs> you like it? Good. I try to do my best. Not easy. Life is not easy anymore. The COVID uh, doesn't help. Like. It's so like big it. and don't touch small. In it. Inside the camera? Yeah. Is this a speaker? Yes. It's a microphone. I call it speaker. Boy! Okay, I think we should go now. Bye bye. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.